hair looks weird. How do I make my hair look better? Better, better. <laughs> I'm so weird. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is choose my base color and that is going to be this green color right here. This is the 88 Original Palette by Coastal Scents. So what I like to do is I take my finger and I just apply it onto my eyelid just because it gives the most color impact that way. And you wanna be careful for the fallout because this is green and you don't wanna get it all over your beautiful masterpiece of your makeup. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to work that in. Okay, so to really blend this out, oops, <laughs> I'm going to take my Morphe palette and I'm gonna go in with, one second, this brownie-ish, purple-ish color. And this is the Morphe Warm palette, I believe. And I'm just going to take my favorite blending brush of all time. It is the Urban Decay Naked 2 blending brush that comes with the palette and I'm just going to take a little bit of that color from Morphe tap off the excess and then just apply it right above where that green starts to kind of fade out so this is just a really good transition color just so it's not overly green and it just kind of tones it down a little bit okay so the next color that I'm going to go into is in the same Morphe palette and it's this sort of greenish color. It's like a yellowish green. It's really pretty. Okay, so once that is all blended in, I'm going to take another brush and I'm going to go back to that green from the Coastal Scents palette and I'm going to brush that all over the lower lash line. So now I'm going to tone down the lower lash line, oops, and I'm going to go back to my Morphe palette and I'm going to use this sort of dark, dark brown color right here and I'm just going to use the same exact brush. Okay, so then once you have your bottom lash line all done, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this All May palette. It's got like a really pretty glittery green color. It's like a deep green. And I'm just going to take my ring finger and just apply that right over the green just to really make it pop a little bit more and also have sort of like a glittery kind of look to it. I'm just going to lightly tap that onto my eyeball. And it really brings that green out. Now I'm going to take that other blending brush and just sweep it over the green or where the brown and the green meet just to blend it out. Okay, so the next step is the inner corner and I'm going to take Elf's Baked Eyeshadow Palette and mine got a little bit messed up. I'm gonna take this middle color right here. It's almost like a champagne kind of color and apply it on the inner corner. And just drag it up. Then I'm gonna take this purple color and just add like a little fun to the look. And I'm just gonna put that right in the tear duct. And 
And I like to use three or two different mascaras, the L'Oreal Manga and also the L'Oreal Infallible. Is this L'Oreal? I love this mascara. Now it's like five years later and I finished my mascara. It's time to do my lips. My lip liner that I've been loving and obsessing and totally going to for every look is by Milani and it's called Spice. And I'm like, I need to get a new one because it's so little now because I use it so much. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys didn't know, me and my boyfriend do have a vlog channel. It's called Sonia and Kennedy. We actually post videos every single week. So if you want to keep up with my life and my boyfriend, then totally subscribe to our channel. Oh, and also if you guys want to see more makeup videos or DIYs or anything like that, comment down below and tell me what you would like for me to do for you. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.